Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Gonzalez. That breaking news evacuations underway right now in Hawaii as wildfires burn through brush fanned by powerful winds on the island. The fire is burning on the big island and on Maui as well. This is a look at a shopping center on fire. This is the older part of Maui. The wildfires have damaged structures, prompted rescues, and even caused some people to run to the ocean and jump in to escape the flames. The Hawaii National Guard was activated to respond to this crisis. Emergency services officials say multiple Maui wildfire burn patients have been flown to Honolulu Hospital to be treated. And according to state officials, the wildfires could be made worse by Hurricane Dora's approach. Some parts of the Big Island are experiencing wind gusts of up to 80 miles per hour. And as of right now, there's no containment on these fires. Um, the fact that we have wildfire um, uh, from multiple areas um, as a result of uh, indirectly from a hurricane is unprecedented. It's something that Hawaii residents uh, and the state have um, not experienced. The lieutenant governor went on to say that hospitals on the island of Maui are overwhelmed right now with burn patients. And again, people are suffering from smoke inhalation as well. Right now, Hawaii's National Guard is supporting local emergency responders. The Coast Guard says it's had to rescue 12 people who went into the ocean to escape the fire. In the meantime, our meteorologist Heather Waldman tracking the winds on Hawaii in Hawaii. So what's made them so strong? Well, yeah, there's a few factors playing in here. First being the, the seasonal trade winds that are there day to day throughout the summer months. And then Lisa mentioned Hurricane Dora. Now, even at its closest pass yesterday, it was still hundreds of miles to the south of the islands and it's moving well away today. But we still have red flag warning conditions for the entire island chain on the westward side, what we call the leeward side or the drier side of the island. This is the look at the trade winds. They typically blow northeast to southwest during this time of the year. And on an average day, those winds are sustained anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Here's Hurricane Dora, still a Category 4 storm. Again, hundreds of miles to the south of the island, but between the energy from this storm and the circulation around this area of high pressure, we're amplifying those trade winds. So yesterday, winds were gusting between 50 and 60 miles per hour on Maui and parts of the Big Island of Hawaii. And of course, some localized higher gusts reported in there as well. This is the track of Dora. Again, it is moving away, but we're still looking at breezy conditions today for the islands. Hence the red flag warning with conditions hopefully improving tomorrow. Lisa, it's just a bad situation right now. Heather, thank you so much. Here's another look at some of the flames. Look at this is from the water and you can see the fire and smoke at the Lahaina Harbor. This is a vantage point from a boat and look at how intense those flames are burning right up to the water's edge. And we showed you earlier some of the pictures from their old town. It's a 200 year old historic area in Maui where the really biggest fire started. They still don't know how that fire started, but that just swept through that area and the nearby residential areas really quickly. Their old town is kind of like the old Sacramento area. Lots of old wood and lots of kindling for a fire. Uh, but again, this is what they're dealing with right now. Very scary situation. We'll continue to cover this wildfire, all of the fires in the on the Hawaiian islands as crews work to control them. For the very latest, make sure you download the KCRA 3 app and enable the push alert so the latest news gets sent straight to your phone.